first. It's the first of the month. Wake up. Bone Thugs and Harmony. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm just hitting y'all up just to, just to see how y'all are doing, man. Uh, I'm doing all right. Things looking up. You know, things couldn't really get no better. Just not leaving my nine to five. No time to head to the house and take a shower and go to school. Actually, I'm gonna be late to school today. I'm taking our finals, but you know, it's all good. Everything's still happening. Um, like I said, I'm just checking in on y'all, see how y'all are doing. Man. You know, God's been working with me and the wife and the kids and the business. You know, things are looking up. You know, but I got a request for y'all, man. If y'all want to on some subjects y'all want me to talk about you know what I'm saying leave a comment and let me know who, what you want me to talk about alright um, you know if I don't have the information then you know I'll, I'll, I'll come back to you and let you know I don't know nothing about that but if it's something I know about then I'll come in and I'll talk to y'all about it But I've been doing some thinking, right? About this, uh, the kid that's in, uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Man, that's a, that's a, a show for some, a show for y'all, man. It is. I don't know what to say about it. I mean, I got my opinions, but I don't want to piss nobody off. And they all want nobody to say nothing and pissing me off. And they just become a pissing contest and all this other stuff. But the stuff that's going on in the world today in America, it ain't called for, man. We all need to come together and figure out, you know what I'm saying, what we can do to rectify the situation. You know. How we see it, 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 it it's, it's messed up. It's messed up. So, if you watch the video, you know what I'm saying? Think about, you know, if it, it was your family member that was either the ones being killed for no reason, or if it was your family member killing the people reason how would you feel about it you know what i'm saying take the people that are dying and put your loved one's face on them and this is for everybody in america black white puerto rican hispanic i don't care everybody in america you know if uh your family member was the one being shot, killed, tortured, strangled, just minding their business. If there was that person that lost their life, for some senseless now. I'm not saying if your if, if your little folks out there robbing and, and stealing from people and, and breaking into people's houses and stuff or trying to break people out uh, trying to uh, carjack people they end up getting killed and not, they shouldn't be doing that you know but I'm saying if they legit 100% innocent you know what I'm saying and, and, and the situation that caused them to lose their life think about how you would feel if that was your your wife, your husband, your mom and daddy, your sister, brother, your son or daughter. You know what I'm saying? Take that and apply it to your own life, your own family, your own circle of friends. You know, and how you would feel about it. And maybe once, once stuff like that happens, 
you know, and people start to realize that it's sensitive. Maybe it'll stop. Maybe it'll change for the better. You know? And then, uh, as far as law enforcement goes, I wanted to be a, I, I, I wanted to be a police officer. I'm not gonna lie to you. I wanted to be one. You know, but I guess God got other plans for me. However, the law enforcement officers, y'all guys are trained. You guys are trained to deal with situations like that. Like that, that's part of your job. You know? And at the same time, no, nobody should be threatening your lives and nothing like that. I, you know, no, nobody should be doing that. But at the same time, that's a profession that you guys chose. You know, I did some time in the military, right? And me being in the military, if I wasn't just haul off and kill somebody that ain't had one justified in doing it. I'd be in prison right now. I'd be in prison. You know what I'm saying? And I think law enforcement should be held to the same standard. Law enforcement should be held to the exact same standard as the military goes. If it ain't legit justified shooting, there's no hostile act, hostile intent with that person that you're engaged with. I think it's your friend. That's just me. You know? And for the officers that are there with them, ain't nobody above the law. You swore to protect the people, the good citizens of whatever city, municipality, town, country, state, county, whatever you want to call it. You swore to protect and serve them. And that means if the officer to your left and right is wrong, guess what? <laughs> they wrong. They need to be arrested just like anybody else. There's nobody above the law. Nobody. You know? You know, I, I, I uh, looked up the uh, state trooper down in Florida, down in Miami, that arrested that, uh, that Miami Dade police officer for speed doing 100 plus miles an hour on the highway, on Interstate 95, doing 100 plus miles an hour for no reason. No lights, no sirens at all. The only lights on the car that was on was the headlight. That's it. Headlight and taillight. Nothing else. You know, he passed them. Running fast, she ran out there behind him, turned the lights on, and they actually had to chase him for a little bit. Lights running cold behind him for a while before he decided to pull over. When he pulled over, she put him in handcuffs. And he's surprised, like, really? You really doing this? Yeah, my job <laughs> is to enforce traffic laws. If you're not running to a call, an emergency call, why are you riding so fast? You know, and the guys in blue, the blue lives, the cops, instead of them supporting her for doing her job, which is the right thing to do, a lot of them blasted her, you know, harassed her, uh, went outside the house, inside there, looked up her phone number and her address, and legit harassed her. Now, it got to the point where she had to, uh, she had to literally be transferred. Why? Because she did the right thing? You know what I'm saying? But for y'all law enforcement officers out there, man, if you put the badge and gun on because you was bullied and you wanted to make an example to show that you're tough and all this other stuff, you need to take it off. Take it off. Because it's not about if you're tougher than the next guy. It's not about that. What it's about is you are 
uh, the uh, the sheep dog. Put it like that. You're the sheep dog. You're not there to harm the sheep. You're there to protect them from the, from the wolves. That's what you're there to do. And I think you all should have to do it. That's what I feel. You know, y'all hold on for a second. Alright, I'm back, man. That was my old lady calling. So excuse that, you know, she was rudely interrupting me, but you know, hey, it's all good. But uh like I was saying, man, y'all officers, man, y'all are the sheep dogs. Y'all are there to protect and to serve the sheep. You know what I'm saying? If a wolf shows his head, he's supposed to take care of that wolf. Period. Point blank. They don't take care of the wolf. But it seemed like the sheep dog they went out and started killing the sheep. When that happened. <laughs> the, 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 the herd or whatever you want to call the human that's, uh, that owned the sheep and the sheep dog. You end up getting rid of the dogs. They're killing his sheep. They're costing him more money than what they were supposed to cost. Him. You'll get rid of them. You know, and that's what that's what the citizens are saying now is like defund the police. The sheep dog killing the sheep, they want to get rid of the sheep. I mean the sheep dog. And that's what I'm trying to get y'all to. That's what I've been trying to get some people to realize, you know, some people that I know. Because it, it's, it's unsaid that, you know, it's un, unsaid that you get to walk around and when you see a cop, some people get scared. They feel the cop more than they feel the gangster or the, 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 the drug dealer or the, 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 the the rapist or the pedophile or whoever else down the street. They'd rather be down there with them than to be than to be near a cop. You know, for the good cops, man, continue doing good. But y'all gotta weed the bad ones out. Y'all know who the bad ones are. Y'all do. And y'all gotta weed them out. Ain't no can nobody else do it. Can't nobody else weed the bad cops out but the good cops that's work that work side by side with them. They see the bad tendencies between all of them, and those are the ones that can hey bring it up to whoever they need to bring it up to to get them out of them. That's just that. There's no if ands and buts about it, man. That's just something for y'all to think about, man. Think about that and hit me up. Let me know what y'all think. Like I said earlier in the video, if you got some, uh, some topics you want me to talk about, you know what I'm saying? Let me talk, uh, let me know and I'll talk about it. But keep in mind that whatever I talk about is my opinion. You know what I'm saying? It's my opinion. It ain't meant to educate nobody in any way whatsoever. Or, or, or anything like that, you know. So, just let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all want me to talk about. You know what I'm saying? And if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Leave a comment, do all the other good stuff. And uh, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.